Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Paul and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Kessel A360X. So here are the boxes. This is the A360X that I purchased along with the Spectral controller. Uh, that's the new Spectral X controller and then also the Kessel mounting kit. This is the new Kessel A series mounting arm. It is compatible with the new A360X. Uh, it's adjustable so you can adjust this up and down. Uh, it does cover a tank depth between 18 to 24 inches. And the tubing itself is hollow so that it can assist with cable management. Alright, so this is the top of the castle here. And I've actually unplugged the new K-Link here. This is a USB Type-C uh, or USB-C type connector. So it's unplugged for the moment. And that is the only way you can actually use these knobs. Uh, if you have the K-Link plugged in, the knobs are actually useless or, the, or you can't use them. But um, if you don't have it plugged in, then you can utilize these knobs. And uh, these are pretty much uh, standard to the uh, A360WE, whereas this one controls your intensity, right? So you can go from low all the way up. Um, and then this knob over here controls the spectrum. So this gives you the blue to your white. All right, so again, spectrum on this side and intensity on this side. Now, if I was to plug in the K-Link, this actually supplies the power to the Spectral X controller and then the Spectral X controller will take over and um, control this light according to the programming. All right guys, so this is the Spectral controller and it is actually plugged into the unit already. All right, so as you can tell, it looks just like the older one, except this is the newer one. Uh, this one's got a USB micro, it looks like, for firmware updates and then the port for your zero to 10 volt um, older devices. But the first thing you wanna do is actually just plug in this device and you wanna set the date and time. Uh, this screen here is a default screen that you see. All you gotta do is you can push any button here. It's gonna bring you to this menu. And if you look at the top, you have dashboard, programs, and settings. All you have to do here is go to settings. And then you wanna go to date and time enter day and time enter and then here you want to set your day and time so i already have mine set already so i'm going to leave it the way it is so i'm going to go back i'm going to go back one more to get to the tab menu on top okay and to program or set up your uh, light scheduling you go into the program tab at the top for me um I use the quick set one and all you gotta do is hit enter to get to this tab. It's already selected or if you have quick set two, you can go there. You can adjust any of these four parameters plus there's other ones back here that you can customize. Okay, we can go back to the first screen here. I'm gonna go to the quick set one and select that. So there's uh, eight different time slots here. You can go in here and you know, if it's 19, 100 hours that you want to keep, you can keep it, you can hit up, you can hit, you know, adjust it as needed. Go down here to the color tab, select the color and make these adjustments, you know, whatever you want it to look like at 1900 hour. And if you hit back, 
you can actually go to, instead of the color, you go to the effects tab and you can add in, you know, a thunderstorm and such. I haven't really played with that. Um, I've just been focusing more on this uh, color schedule and the lighting schedule. And then what you want to do now is, is um, once you have everything set, you can hit back here and it's going to ask you to save setting. You could say OK and that saves the setting. And then um, to actually set it to that program, you want to go back one. Now you're at the top menu, you have the dashboard, program and settings. You want to go back and you see where it says TB, that's tuna blue. You can, uh, oops, you can go back here, select that. That's tuna blue. If you have the tuna sun, it would be this one. And if you want zero to 10 volt control, it would be this one. But let's go to the tuna blue. I have it right now set to manual color so that I can adjust the color. Uh, but if you want the programming, then you would go set it to the preset tuna blue one here. And this will be based on your program right here. Now, if you want to manually adjust your light, uh, since you can't do the knobs anymore, if you have this K-Link connected, then you could do it through here. And, uh, you know, from the main screen, which is this one here, this is what you would normally see. You'd have to hit any button to get in and then select this dashboard. You're under the tuna blue section. You can hit down to the manual setting, enter. And from here you can adjust, enter one more time. And you can adjust the color spectrum here, the intensity. So uh, like now I'm bringing the colors up. The intensity is all the way up and I'm on white. I can hop over here, turn it down to get the uh, deep blue look right here. And uh, what I can do is I can hop over and increase the violets. I can go one over, add in the reds. All right, and then if I go back here, it's really gonna be red. All right, so now the tank is super red. Just turn that back down. greens if you wanted to add some green you can do that as well all right now the light is completely off Let me turn it on a little bit there it is Gonna make it super white all right but that is actually it set it back to you know once you're done with the manual and you want it back to the programming mode or the programmed mode. Just hit back and you want to scroll back up to your preset right here. So this is the preset here. All right, so let's take a look at the dance array matrix here. For the violets, we have 10 LEDs. Uh, for the reds, we have three LEDs. And then for the green, we have four LEDs. And uh, this one here is the violet, reds, and green all at 1%. And this next one here is the blue channel. And it looks like there are three different shades of blue. And then uh, this one here is all the channels lit up at 1%. Um, and you can see that there are about 46 LEDs in here. All right, so for part measurements, I use the Senai Reef monitor. And uh, this is all done on the Red Sea Reefer 170, measuring from the surface, the center, the front bottom, and the front right corner. All right, for the first reading here, this is the white channel set at 100% intensity. And if we look here, we can see that the surface is at around 330 par. The front right bottom is at 64. Center, which is about nine inches below the uh, water line, is at 140. And the front center bottom is at 75. The next one here is the blue channel. 
at 100% intensity. Uh, at the surface, we have a reading of 240. Front is 70. Center is 109. And front, center bottom, is at 68. And this next one here is with the clear set at the 50% uh, level which is about half blue and half white, and it was set at 100% intensity. And here we have the surface uh, reading of 280, then the front right bottom with 85, center at 172, front at 88. All right, so this next one here is uh, with the clear dial set all the way to the clear, red, green, and violet also at 100% intensity. So at the surface, we have 380 par. The front right bottom, we have 130. Center, we have 150. Front, we have 120. All right, and for this last one here, we have the clear set to blue. We have red, green, violet also set at 100% intensity. And at the surface, we're getting a reading of 350 par. And then the front right bottom, it's 115. The center is 124 and the front is 110. Hey guys, I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching this video and that it brought you some value. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the comment section below. And uh, like always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.